Hi everyone, I'm here to share a video using the Cottage Cuts Picket Fence Border Die. And the reason why I wanted to show you this die is because it's a lot different than the other Cottage Cuts dies. Um, on the other Cottage Cuts dies, you add a piece of foam. On this one, you do not add foam to it. And so you're using the die the way it is, and then there's little holes to poke to get your piece out. And so I'm going to run it through. I'm actually going to use the Big Shots um, machine today. And so I just want to place my die facing up on the machine and then take a piece of cardstock. Um, this cardstock here is just, I believe it's 110 weight from Walmart. I purchased it in the where the computer stuff is so it's not in the crafting area and I love this stuff it's good to stamp on it's good to airbrush and it's perfect for die cutting um, with the cottage cuts and so let me go ahead and run this through the machine and so you just take it and you're gonna run it through I'll set my machine back so here we have our die, and I've ran that through one time in that machine. And so now what you can do is take and do a poke, and I just do on the one end right here. And then you should be able to go ahead and pull that up. Now, I don't poke all the way through only because it's just easier to pull this out. I mean, that came out super easy. And I only had to do the two pokes on the one end. And so there you have it. And now you have a darling picket fence. I love this fence. And so I hope you enjoyed today's video on the Cottage Cuts Picket Fence Border Die. And thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you next time. Have a nice day.